What's cooking everybody? Welcome back to Ball Bay's Kitchen. Today I'm gonna to be making almond jelly, also known as almond tofu. An incredibly refreshing and light dessert, one of my favorite dishes for the upcoming hot weather. I'm gonna show you the simplest and most delicious way to make this dish. Let's begin. For our simple ingredients, sugar, water, milk, gelatin, almond extract, and some fruit cocktail. Prepare two portions of water. First one with two cups, and the second with one cup. We'll begin with the one cup. Get our gelatin ready. Four packs here, a total of 28 grams. And start dumping them in the water. Now give it a very slight stir, just enough to activate the gelatin a little bit. It will dissolve by itself later. Just like that. Put it aside. It's time to do some cooking. Put in the two cups of water that we set aside earlier. And one cup of sugar. Turn the heat on, medium, and begin stirring. You want to stir this until the sugar is fully dissolved. As you see here, the water should look nice and clear. Then let it cook until the water boils. And turn the heat off. Now grab the gelatin mixture that we made and carefully scoop it into the water. Break it apart. Heat back on and begin stirring once again. Okay. You just wanna stir until the gelatin is fully dissolved. Then heat off. Next, pour in two cups of milk, slowly while stirring the pot. Try not to spill any of the milk. Then time for the almond extract. Same rules apply, pour while stirring. This is one fluid ounce of almond extract, also 28 grams. Give that a final stir to make sure all the ingredients are nice and combined. Done. Get a tray, preferably a glass one. Get your mixture and slowly pour it into the tray. If your tray isn't big enough, you might want to split this into two. Like I did here. Too much in one tray will make it harder for the gelatin to form. Just about one centimeter high, and this will make it very easy for the gelatin to form in the fridge. Carefully put your mixture into the fridge for a minimum of three hours, or until the gelatin reaches nice consistency. Like that, and take it out. Time to cut our beautiful tray of jelly. Take a nice sharp knife and begin making incisions in a grid-like pattern. Turn the tray 90 degrees and finish off the grid. Beautiful cubes of almond jelly ready to be served. Very carefully, use a flat edge and scoop up the jelly from bottom to top. Transfer that into a serving bowl. Careful not to break it too much. Same with the second tray. Make sure you leave no jelly behind. Our perfect bowl of almond jelly with a stunning white color. 
good enough to eat on its own. So delicious. For the last step, it's time to dump in all our fruit cocktail. We'll be using two full cans for this. Now, very carefully, give this a nice stir to distribute all the jelly and fruit evenly. Go slowly from bottom to top. Our absolutely beautiful bowl of almond jelly and fruit cocktail. Ready to be served, ready to be eaten with happiness. A stunning bowl of jelly, it's time to take a bite. Incredibly refreshing, absolutely delicious. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this recipe. More to come. Thanks for watching.